A Smoke sent me their newest AS350 portable pellet grill uh, tailgater, if you will. Um, nice little unit here, along with a bag of their uh, applewood pellets. Pretty excited to get this thing put together, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and lift this box out the way. The first thing that I'm noticing is some excellent packaging on this thing. You've got the styrofoam on the bottom and it had the same exact thing on the top. And here's your just standard literature, if you wanna read it. And let's go ahead and get this thing removed. It feels like a hefty little unit. That's all I can say so far. So let's go ahead and get this sticker removed. And that's kind of a pet peeve of mine when you try to pull one of these stickers off, but like half of it stays on. But it's all good, I'll get it cleaned up. And there we go. Got these latches here that keep it closed, which is a nice feature. Keeps it really tight. Lock on this thing. Inside, you'll notice the pellet hopper that's it's on the left side. And then we've got a couple boxes that we need to open up here. Looks like uh, everything we need to put it together with. Starting with a nice uh, stainless steel brushed handle. Pretty nice little handle. And your electrical cord, standard electrical cord here. Got your little grease catcher. Nice little cup. Got some screws. Self tappers. Um, your heat probe got a pair of legs it looks like this couples into two feet in the smaller uh, grill grate and here you see a very shiny beautiful heat shield slash heat deflector this thing is like chrome <laughs> and the other the other piece to it you can do some searing action on it and here's your other two feet in the other box, first thing that we see is your large grill grate. More on this little unit in a few. And then you've got your little sliding ashtray and um, liquid tray. Nice little feature that this grill has. You can put any kind of liquid that you want in this tray and put it in there. We'll check this out here in a little bit. Let's just get everything else removed and get this thing put together. Here is the inside. I'm noticing it has this little gasket to keep a really tight close lid on this thing. Very tight. There's your fire pot. Very heavy duty, you guys. This thing is built pretty sturdy. And here's your little four pound pellet hopper. Right here on the left of it. <clears throat> so that's the inside of it. So let's go ahead and get this thing put together. Let's start with the handle. It's fairly easy. It's two screws. And I like to cheat. I like to use my small little DeWalt. Makes quick work of this project. gonna flip it upside down now you're gonna have to remove uh, three of the existing screws to use for the feet here one of the easiest grills to put together you guys same thing for the other side remove three existing screws and use them to install your feet here Doesn't take long. We're gonna go ahead and install this little ashtray assembly. You have uh, those holes there and it lines up. Do you remember the little bag of screws? That's what we're gonna use it for. So we're gonna go ahead and tap these in there fairly quickly. DeWalt making short work of this project. And 
and we're gonna flip it back over. Let's go ahead and put it together. There is the heat shield with the slider. I notice you've got a little metal tab that goes into that hole there. There you go, now that slides much nicer. Here's your bigger grill grate and your upper one. Very simple assembly. There's the ashtray with the liquid tray and your little grease trap. And that was that. So this literature here basically says if you're gonna use pellets other than the A Smoke brand, you need to use this piece and fit it down into your fire pot. I will use it eventually. And there's your heat probe. It comes with a little um, a little clip that you can mount the heat probe either on the side of it or on the inside. Just gonna put it inside for now. Just, you get an idea of what it works. And let's go ahead and install the electrical plug in the back. Can't forget that. Here's a few specs on the actual grill. If you guys wanna push pause and check it out here. And it's built very well. It's a very strong little, it's a very solid little grill. But just so you can take a look at the pellets that they sent me. Here's the bag, um, applewood, 100% natural applewood pellets. And I know what you guys are thinking, what's the difference between those pellets and standard pellets? To my left is your standard peckin pellets from Bear Mountain, and to the right, these are the peckin pellets, and these are the applewood smoke pellets. So they're not too different in size, there's a definite difference in the color. So let's go ahead and load up the hopper and do a burnout in this thing, shall we? Put about three cups in there, four cups. Just enough to get it going. Now I'm gonna set it up on a table out front and set it to 300. This is how you turn it on and it has a dial. I, I will say that the LED um, readout, it's nice and bright, very easy to see. I know it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it's a, it's a nice um, screen. And here's the fire pot, getting some fire action coming. Bam, there's your fire. So now let's put it together. Close the top, lock it. And let's burn this booger out for about a good hour. So set yourself a timer for one hour. And here's a few shots of the back while it was running. I, I, I will say that those pellets smell pretty good. Um, it's a really good pellet that they sent. But I think I'm gonna enjoy this little cooker. It, it's, it's a very sturdy, heavy duty cooker. Uh, it's stainless steel. Um, comment and let me know what you guys think I should cook first. I already have a few ideas. But other than that, I'd like to see what you guys think. I'm, I'm excited to use this little unit. And I'll, again, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.